ever find that your emotions kind of go in layers? Like maybe there was an original cause when you were a child, and that caused something else, which caused something else. And so when you're trying to deal with the emotions, you start from the top and you work your way back. Spot on. Yeah. And it often happens where you've got the onion layer effect, so mm -hmm. you've got cause, and uh, one, one of the things that you go through is cause and effect. And you've got this cause and effect thing going, so let's say, let's say the, real, the real root cause of, of something might have happened when you were one, or something one year old, one year old event, that caused a certain effect, and because you reacted to those effects a certain way, that caused you to have another emotion of, say, fear, and then whenever you acted in fear, you got punished, so that caused the feeling that you'd be punished, and, and so forth, and you get this layered effect of your emotion. Yeah. And then you may not even remember the original cause. Certainly, certainly. But if you allow yourself to just feel what you currently feel right at this moment, right. you, can peel away. you can peel away the layers. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's when you shut down even the current expression of emotion. And remember the law of attraction. So the law of attraction is going to expose the current emotion in particular so that you can get down through the layers. Yeah? So, so let's say I'm driving along in traffic and the first emotion I feel is anger. Well, feel it, let yourself go deeper and let yourself really feel it. Like when you get home, get out of the box and bag, why don't you yell and scream and punch? Don't, don't just feel it for 10 seconds and suppress it. Does that make sense? When you do that, there goes the anger. Right? Now I'll find some causes underneath the anger once that starts happening. Does that make sense? Yeah. Definitely a layer, like, definitely a layer. All of our emotions are layered. Can we 